So one of the more compelling features of Farina and and SQL itself is the ability to do analytics. That is to take to look at the sum of data or counts of things in, in your database, uh, as well as being able to drill down on detail for those things. So uh, what I want to spend some time on is making sure we understand the basics of doing a proper uh, SQL group by expression. Um, in our Northwind database, we have uh, a bunch of orders that uh, and employees and things like that. Uh, what I'd like to focus on today as our sample problem is to basically to do aggregations about, um, let's say, what kind of shippers that we're using. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to look across our, our um, orders to see which orders were, um, were shipped uh, by which shippers. So the way that's done in the Northwind database is the ship via column, and that is actually just an index to a table of shippers that you can find in your database. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is we'll start with a simple query where we would do, do select ship ship via from orders, and if we query that. We just get a very uninteresting list of uh, of the different shippers. So I'm going to join that to make sure that I get the name of the shipper on my shippers. And here in the on clause, we need to specify the key that we're going to use. So this will be o dot ship via equal s dot uh, shipper ID. And if we query that data, oh, we still get, we want to include maybe the the company name of the shipper and uh, maybe the order ID just for fun. So this gives us a company name for all of the, the orders. But we don't want to report out all this detail. We want to know how many people shipped via Speedy Express versus another shipper. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the group by function in SQL to show us only the shipper names along with a count of how many uh, uh, how many orders were shipped to those different shippers. So here we go. I'm going to put this on a uh, whoops. going to put this on a new line so that we can see that. So we're selecting the company name and the count one as the total. Um, and so this gives us uh, Speedy Express, but that's not quite what we wanted. We wanted to, to we need to, to get a row for every different shipper that we have. And so for that, we need to add a group by expression. And if we do this, we'll see several, uh, we'll see the, the aggregate totals. So that can be, uh, that's the really basic uh, group by expression. We can, of course, very quickly make a data block out of that and then graph that in Farina. So let's go ahead and make, start by uh, making a new data block. for the Northwind sample database. This will be our, and we'll call this uh, shipping summary. And I'll create that. And it will be our uh, 
data. We'll save the changes. Close that. And um, now we should see in our data blocks a shipping summary. And if we want to make a quick report out of that, we can. So I will call this uh, uh, my shipping summary report. And we'll go ahead and put that in a category of sales and create that. And you'll notice by default, um, we get just the listing of the columns and the company names. One of the things we can now do is graph that data. And uh, let's assume that we're going to use a pie chart and that the value is there as the total. And oh, let's make it a little pretty. Maybe we'll use a 3D pie chart. And we have our uh, and there's our graph. Let's include the data table with the graph so that people can see what that is. And I'll go ahead and add that to my report. And now we have a quick graph of our sales shipping summary. Remember that the data is not actually saved until we press save. This is still a preview mode. So we're going to go ahead and press save here. And now we have our shipping summary report.